Vitamin D is an essential nutrient that your body needs for many important bodily processes, including building and maintaining strong bones. Low vitamin D levels are a major public health concern globally. In fact, it is estimated that worldwide 13% of the population has a vitamin deficiency. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that mainly supports calcium absorption, provides growth and free bone formation of the body. It is also involved in various functions of your free, digestive, circulatory and nervous systems. Emerging research shows that vitamin D research can help solve many mental illnesses such as depression, diabetes, cancer and heart disease. 1. So how much vitamin D do you need per day? The reference daily intake is 600U for people 1 to 70 years old and 800U for people over 70 years old. If you don't get enough sunlight, the recommended amount of vitamin D can be closer to 1000U per day. In some cases, you'll need to consult your doctor to get the right amount of vitamin D, especially if you're not getting enough vitamin D or are at risk of osteoporosis. Although vitamin D toxicity is rare, avoid taking vitamin D long-term and exceeding 4000 U per day without supervision from a healthcare professional. 2. What should you eat if you lack vitamin D? 1. Salmon. Salmon is a fatty fish that is a rich source of vitamin D. According to the U.S. Food Composition Database, USDA Food Composition, a 100-gram portion of salmon contains from 361 to 685 U of vitamin D. However, there is a difference in the amount of vitamin D in wild or farmed salmon. On average, wild-caught salmon has 988 U of vitamin D per 100 grams. However, farmed salmon only provides about 250 U of vitamin D per 100 grams. 2. Herring and Sardines Herring is a fish species used by many people in many countries. It can be eaten raw, canned, smoked or salted. This small fish is also one of the good sources of vitamin D. Fresh Atlantic herring provides 1,628 U per 100 gram portion. If fresh fish is not available, pickled herring is also an excellent source of vitamin D, providing 680 U per 100 gram serving. However, fish extract also contains a high amount of salt which leads to overconsumption by some people. Sardines are also a good source of vitamin D with each serving containing 272 U. There are many other types of fatty fish that are also good sources of vitamin D such as flounder, halibut, and mackerel providing several times as much as 600 and 360 U per serving. 3. Cod Liver Oil Cod liver oil is a very popular vitamin D supplement product today. If you don't like fish, taking cod liver oil can be a very good solution to ensure the amount of vitamin D needed for a healthy body. Cod liver oil has about 450 U of vitamin D per cup of coffee, 4.9 milliliters. Cod liver oil is also an excellent source of vitamin A, providing 90% of the recommended amount in a jar of coffee, 4.9 milliliters. However, vitamin A can be highly independent. Therefore, be careful with cod liver oil, you need to make sure you don't take too much. 4. Canned Tuna Many people like canned tuna because of its flavor and ease of preservation. In addition, in terms of price, canned tuna is often cheaper than buying fresh fish. Canned light tuna contains up to 236 U of vitamin D in a 100 gram serving. However, users should note that canned tuna contains methylmercury, a toxin found in many types of fish. If it builds up in your body, it can cause serious health problems. 5. Oysters. Oysters are a type of clam that lives in salt water and is delicious, low in calories and full of nutrients. A 100 gram natural oyster has only 68 calories but contains 320 U of vitamin D. 6. Shrimp. These products are actually rich in vitamin D. Shrimp also contains health promoting omega-3 fatty acids, although in lower amounts than many other vitamin D rich foods. Shrimp is a type of crustacean that is very popular in many countries. However, unlike most other seafood sources of vitamin D, shrimp are very low in fat but they still contain a good amount of vitamin D with 152 U per serving. Additionally, shrimp also contains health-promoting omega-3 fatty acids, although in lower amounts than many other vitamin D-rich foods. 7. Egg yolk. People who don't eat fish should know that seafood is not the only source of vitamin D, with eggs being another excellent nutritious source of vitamin D. While most of the protein in eggs is found in the white, fats, vitamins and minerals are found primarily in the yolk. A typical egg yolk from farmed chickens contains 18 to 39 U of vitamin D. However, chickens raised in fields under sunlight produce eggs with levels 3 to 4 times higher. Vitamins compared to raised chickens. In addition, eggs from chickens fed foods rich in vitamin D. The amount of vitamin D in the eggs of these chickens can be up to 6,000 U per yolk. That's a whopping 10 times the recommended amount. 8. Mushrooms. Besides nutritional supplements, mushrooms are the only plant source that contains a lot of vitamin D. Like humans, mushrooms can only synthesize this vitamin when exposed to the UV rays of sunlight. 
However, mushrooms produce vitamin D2, while animals produce vitamin D3. Although vitamin D2 helps increase blood levels of vitamin D, it may not be as effective as vitamin D3. The amount of vitamin D in 100 grams of mushrooms contains 2,300 U of vitamin D, nearly four times higher than the recommended amount. 9. Fortified foods. In cases where natural sources of vitamin D are limited, especially if you are vegetarian or do not like fish, some products that do not contain natural vitamin D are very effective sources of vitamin D supplements such as cow's milk, milk soybeans, orange juice, cereal and oatmeal. So there you have it 9 healthy vitamin D rich foods to add to your diet. Remember that maintaining adequate vitamin D levels is essential for your overall health, especially if you don't get enough sun exposure. But always consult with a healthcare professional before making any significant dietary changes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you'd like to see more informative videos like this one, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.